Buddies. So again, I'm going to be talking about a topic which I have been asked about many times. That is, people asked me because I love touring, but I have a concern. For how long can we run a motorcycle non-stop? Will a motorcycle engine have a problem in case we are just riding non-stop for a thousand kilometers or you know for ten hours or twelve hours? Is it a problem? So should we do it? That is what we're going to be talking about today. Okay. Now, as you guys already watched my previous video, which I uploaded a few days ago about three types of engine cooling systems on motorcycle air cooled oil cooled liquid cooled all right so i'm sitting on an air cooled engine here this is a royal enfield 350 okay on a motorcycle like this if you are touring and if it's nice cool weather like december or november you don't have to care you can ride non-stop for even 5,000 kilometers if you can ride, okay? What I mean is that practically you can ride non-stop till the time the engine is getting oil circulated inside, okay? And your oil should be in good condition. It should not be very old oil, all right? So if your oil is in good condition and mechanically the motorcycle is in good condition and if it's getting fuel supply, the engine can run non-stop, okay? And if you have an oil cooled system, slightly better, okay? Because even if the weather is slightly hot, the oil is still getting cooled and the air is also flowing over the engine. And if you have a liquid cooled, it's even better because even if the weather is very hot, say you're touring in uh, April or May, if the temperature outside is 45 degrees Celsius, the air would blast onto the radiator and the radiator will cool the coolant and it will cool the engine. But the most reliable of all is the air cooled engine. Because there is nothing, there are no hoses which take out the oil to the oil cooler. There is no uh, radiator which has fans like the liquid cooled. So in this case, there is nothing left to fail. All right, I mean, I was about to fall. <laughs> so there is nothing left to fail. On a liquid cooled engine, what if your ra uh, radiator fan stops working, electric fan? This has happened to many people. Not a good thing. And the liquid, cool, liquid cooled engine inside has an impeller. Impeller is like a fan which spins. Okay, it's a mechanical one and it circulates the coolant. What if the impeller breaks? The coolant will not circulate. Another thing can happen on a liquid cooled engine, on a huge radiator. A stone can hit your radiator at a very high speed and your coolant can start leaking. It has happened to many people, that's why I put radiator guards. And when we put radiator guards, a little bit of airflow onto the radiator gets reduced by probably 5-10%. So, the same thing can happen on a oil-cooled engine. The small radiator that I showed on the FZ that time, that radiator can also get hit by stones. This is what happened to my uh, yeah, Jigsa 1000, which has liquid-cooled and oil-cooled. This is a dual system, which is there on few super bikes. So, it will have a huge radiator for coolant and small radiator for oil cooling. So. The most reliable one is the air cooled, all right? So very often the hoses of a liquid cooled and the oil cooled hoses are the pipes. They can also develop cracks and they can leak. So that is it buddies. Uh, the biggest example that I'll give you is generators, power generators, electric generators, you know, they practically run for weeks non-stop if you have seen big companies factories their power generators till the time the engine temperature is maintained either by uh, a liquid cooled system or any system if the generators 
temperature is maintained it can run for one week or even 10 days non-stop till the time diesel is supplied to it so that is also an engine this is also an engine so both can run practically non-stop and there is a big myth that is people say okay we have ridden for uh, two hours now and we should stop and let the engine cool down don't care about it you don't have to wait for the engine to cool down because first of all it's not going to cool down so fast if you wait for 10 minutes your engine is not going to cool it will at least take it one hour for the engine to cool all right and the moment you crank the motorcycle start riding after that in about five to seven minutes it will again heat up okay so just by you waiting for 10 minutes and cooling the engine you're not doing any favor to it any good to it so keep riding keep enjoying but maintain your motorcycles in a good condition so that mechanically they don't have any problem and check the coolant hoses and make sure there are no cracks on it check the radiator fins and radiator uh, you know uh, pipes pipes means the radiator would have small uh, you know pipes where the coolant would pass from inside check they don't have any holes and uh, just make sure your radiator fan is running fine thank you buddies thanks for watching and uh, hope you're subscribed if you liked what i'm saying you can give a thumbs up to this video and and i'm there on instagram also the link to it is in the description bye bye